Welcome to the 18th Annual Walnut Hill Farm Driving Competition, internationally recognized as the premier pleasure driving show in North America. Few events, if any, portray as purely and as beautifully the contributions made by the horse and carriage to our cultural and economic history. It is this journey back to the Gilded Age in all of its glory that has been the expressed purpose of this magnificent exhibition since it began in 1972. Although Walnut Hill is the setting for spirited and challenging competition, the intent, according to show chairman and Walnut Hill farm proprietor Bill Remley, has first and always been to bring together driving enthusiasts for an extended weekend of sporting pleasure. I think that they come from such great distances to Walnut Hill is the greatest satisfaction that we have. Not only from this country, from Georgia, from Fresno, California, and many out of Canada, and whips here and horses from Europe. It's just uh, very exciting to see that we have that kind of uh, support. The entry is Gene Bauer from Round Lake, Illinois, Miss Susan Hanko King. I'd like to thank them for their participation here today. Oh, this is the Please finest that. pleasure driving show in the whole hemisphere and anyone that shows carriages and horses and ponies that doesn't make it here is missing something. This is the place to be in August in the carriage driving sport. We're here to enjoy the show, we're here to enjoy the sport, and if we're lucky enough to win, we will accept the winning. But uh, sportsmanship in this driving uh, is the most important thing of the whole show. The pursuit of pleasure driving is unique among equestrian endeavors and has been likened to an Olympic sport. Participants do not compete for cash or prizes, and very few make their living from raising or training horses. Nevertheless, a very special blend of keen competition and warm camaraderie is steadily evolving a passion for the horse and carriage that overflows at Walnut Hill. Anytime you know I come down to the States and to be in the elite class of all these drivers, you know, you can't really say too much. It's just it's a thrill. You'll share those thrills on the obstacle courses as competitors pit the athletic ability of their animals and their own driving skill against the elements and the clock. Noted course designer and Walnut Hill Farm technical delegate Robert Heinold has established Walnut Hill as perhaps the most competitive pleasure driving event in the world. I've uh, been to a lot of driving shows. I'm involved in driving outside of the competitive side, but Walnut Hill is still the thing that I like the best and I spend a lot of time trying to improve it. Uh, the show constantly improves, constantly uh, gets more entries, uh, there's a uh, real effort for improvement in quality, quantity, and sociability. Perhaps the most overwhelming feature of this hour-long presentation is scene after scene of absolutely stunning turnouts. The overall picture of the turnouts here is unbelievable. Uh, there, I met a fellow that judged me in Brighton, England here this morning, and he told me he couldn't believe the way that the American drivers and the Canadian drivers have their turnout so appropriate and the way it's supposed to be. Horse lovers will delight in the incredible variety of horses exhibited in harness. From the sprightly American miniatures to the enormous Belgian draft horses, Latvians from the Soviet Union, Austrian Lipizzaners, Norwegian Fjord Ponies, British Hackneys, Morgans, Standard Breads, and so many more. The significance of this one week in August to every participant, from jump crewman to grand champion, is joyfully apparent. From the stables to the presentation ring, to the scenic Pittsburgh countryside, the remarkable care and great pride with which each entry is turned out has not so much to do with the prestigious reputation Walnut Hill has earned 
as with the love of the sport, each trainer, whip, and groom has chosen to invest. Walnut Hill captures the very spirit of pleasure driving by depicting the Victorian age in its perfection during the last decade of the 19th century, the Gilded Age. Welcome to Walnut Hill.